Watch Station in Central Texas. This is KWTX News 10. Local police, sheriff's deputies, and troopers all in hot pursuit of a man who went on the run for nearly an hour. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Gordon Collier. And I'm Julie Hayes. The suspect put hundreds of lives in danger, and it took some serious teamwork to bring him down. Matt Howerton has more on this chaotic chase that could have ended much worse than it did. His response to an arrest warrant was run. U.S. Marshals say they were attempting to serve an arrest warrant to a high-profile suspect at a traffic stop this afternoon. But things went haywire, and then this happened. For almost an hour, the suspect led U.S. Marshals and local police on a high-speed chase up and down Central Texas. U.S. Marshals say he almost ran a police officer off the road and held his hand out the window, gesturing like he had a gun. We were taking the... Uh you know, extreme measures with him, utmost caution with him. The suspect was arrested at 21st and Park Lake in Waco after crashing his car into the back of an officer's truck. This is another one of our uh, McLennan County dirt bags that's off the street. Residents saw police fill what they call a quiet neighborhood in minutes. There was one cop car after another, and all I can think about was kids because it was time for the kids to get out of school. Two other people were in the suspect's car during the chase. U.S. Marshals say they were taken in for questioning. Uh, one of them's getting medical treatment. Uh, the other one uh, is in one of these patrol cars. Both of them may be facing charges as well. 36-year-old Tommy Salters was arrested at the scene. Residents surrounding the mess.